All right, so we're live. Whoa! I've had a long cook today. Let's see who hops in here. You guys enjoying your Del Taco kiddos? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Looks I like, like I need to work on my little, my little island. It's a little bouncy. Who's up in here? What's going on? Excuse the um, open entry there. Yeah, doing a little uh, crazy remodeling. Nick King. Eggs. I appreciate that, Nick. What's up, Boso? We got Ken up in the house. Whoa, what happened here? Let's see. This thing, like, turned off on me. I might have to go old school on this. <laughs> we got, uh, hold on, let me. I got this little, like, screen on my my uh phone it doesn't like activate for some reason so we got um nick king camp from daddy does barbecue how's it going brother we got also in the house uh kentucky Catman outdoor adventures how's it going brother hope you're safe and well let's see we got uh nrs uh, gonzalez good afternoon or good evening actually we got uh, Josh from and uh, Bethany from Josh and Babe. How's it going? Yeah, that that name's never gonna stick out of me. Uh, it's always gonna be Josh and Babe for me. Let me see. We got James from Sent One One Thousand. Rafael, cómo estás, mi amigo? All right, we got Pete. What's going on, Pete? Mauricio, cómo estás? Maurice. Oh, I'm sorry, Maurice. <laughs> it's the Spanish in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we had a pretty long cook today. My gosh, it was crazy. Um, I got a 21 pound. Well, when I first got it, it was a 21 pound brisket. And um, yeah, after trimming everything, this this was a little intimidating, and this was actually a cook that I was trying to avoid putting on YouTube. But uh, yeah, Whew. after trim, I gotta say that thing is probably about seventeen to eighteen pounds. I was I was thinking it was like probably close to fifteen, but nah, this this thing took all day. What's up, Kip? We got. Uh, we also have uh, Washington County News Station in Utah. How's it going? Uh, haven't seen you around. What's up, Kip? How you doing, brother? Let me see. On another note, besides the uh, brisket, I have a Mexican food question. Hey, go ahead, Kanger, Kanger eighty. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. So I did an extremely large cook today, and. Um, yeah, it's sitting over here. Kind of like having to manually mess up anyways. I was actually going to let it sit on my um, cutting board, but uh, I got it in the cooler. I'm going to let it sit. Hopefully that'll increase the, um, or decrease the uh, set time. Beef tallow with all that trim. Um, I haven't yet. That's the plan. Uh, I do have, I do have a lot of meat left over from that brisket. It, it was huge. That brisket was huge. Like seriously, like over here in Southern California, we don't have brisket like out in Texas. When I when I took a trip out in Texas, there was a section just for brisket, and uh, so seeing that how it is out there over here in California, we don't have that. You know what I mean? So, uh, hey, what's up, uh, Jason from uh, Easy Bake Barbecue? How's it going, buddy? Let me see. Let me just catch up on comments real quick before I keep talking because I could talk all night. Um, but yeah, it was it it was uh, it's it's weird out here right now. Um, there's really no food. What's up? Uh, hey, Chris. What's up, brother? How's it going, man? Hey, good to see you here, man. Um, out here where I'm from. Brisket's not, it's not common. So they probably have like maybe like three or four briskets like in stock. And I've been eyeing 
for probably several weeks now to, uh, you know, cook up a brisket. And the only brisket, here, check this out. When I went to the store, they finally had some in stock. Two briskets in stock at a Walmart, a town away from me, because the one here didn't have it. And uh, one was a 16 pounder and the other one was a 21 pounder. The 16 pounder, that one had, it, it was actually punctured. So the bag was broken, it was all oxidized, and I was like, nah, I can't use that. <laughs> I can't use it. So I ended up picking up the 21 pounder. I didn't want to pass up on not being able to have a brisket to be able to cook. I wanted to get this video out for quite some time already. Um, I've been doing a lot of practice cooks and everything, and you know, I finally got that, uh, that Pit Boss Austin, Austin XL. It's rocking. I'm loving it. And, and that thing cooked up this brisket pretty damn good. But I mean, it's a big brisket. So at 250, low and slow, it went quite some time. I was outside all day. Yeah, exactly. Hey, exactly, James. Let me see. Hey, what's up, Ricky Foods? Hey, you're out in Las Vegas, right? I watched a couple of your videos yesterday. Um, hey, you're doing really good, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. You got you got a good style. Hey, just just keep doing what you're doing, bro. Hey, it's a grind, and trust me. Uh, I, I I see you, man. Let me see. Can you talk about how to make pineapple habanero pollo salad? Just replace the the guajillo chilies with uh, here. Here's the thing. Boy, asado. As I said in, in my video, Josh. Um, hey, and and Mike, yeah, I see you, man. Hey, glad to see you, brother. Uh, boy, boy, asado. In, in terms, boy, asado is grilled chicken. Here, I'm I'm like manually working my. Hey, baby. Ah, oh, it's not even there. Um, boy, asado is grilled chicken. That's what that means. If you if if you look up the Spanish term pollo asado, pollo asado is grilled chicken. From different food truck to restaurant and all that type of stuff, they sell, they marinate it different. Uh, butch, butch, butcher places also. Um, you know, depending on what store you buy your food from, uh, will de determine on what marinade they use. So that's why I said in that video, it's it it's it's can be anything yeah border pollo carbon is another term yeah exactly uh pollo carbon is really um chicken over charcoal really like like charcoal chicken you know it's it's uh it's a grilled chicken is what it is and uh different butchers different stores different uh Food trucks, different stores they, or restaurants, they sell it, di they marinate it differently. Like here locally, here, I can actually show you. Here, I might as well just put this in my hand instead of holding this damn thing. And by the way, this is what my cabinets <laughs> look like, <laughs> full of spices. As you can see, I make my own rubs. So like every video, every different thing I do, like it's all made from scratch. So. Most commonly, okay, most commonly, here in Southern California, I, I can't say about like other states. I lived in Palm Springs. I lived in Riverside. Um, I'm from Imperial County of, of California, Southern California. Most of the time, uh, when they say lemon pollo salo, all it is is lemon juice squeezed on chicken and marinated with this 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 is chef marito's uh chicken seasoning okay now when they say orange flavor it's this with orange okay so just a little tip now there's different types of pollo salo like the pollo salo i i um i i put out that one is actually one that me and another like catering company like yeah that we put together uh but it, it's pretty common in like the food truck community you know uh out here like you know if you were to like order like 
a food cart to come to your house and cook chicken tacos. That's that's kind of like what they would say. So a lot of these like recipes are coming from like taqueros from Mexicali. Mexicali is the capital of Baja California. And um, might as well just get a selfie stick. This, <laughs> this gimbal is like dead. <laughs> But yeah, so so a lot of those like um, recipes that I'm putting out for is uh, coming from like taqueros. Here, I seen a bunch of comments. Hold on. Yes. Hey Chris, if you want to try out some, uh, hey, you should just come to the to the kitchen with me, bro. Hey, I, I ran out of kitchen to to sell my rubs. Um, works out, dude. Like it's like perfect because I can like mix and like just like package everything. And um, yeah, dude, hit me up. We could we could do some, and, and and I could give you kind of like pretty much what my recipe is. Like my 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 barbecue rub is pretty much like Mexican barbecue. All right, just catching up on comments. I want to make sure that. Uh... Yeah, I hear you, Rick. All right. Here, I might as well just take this off the thing. I was hoping I have my keys. Hold on, I'm gonna take it off. Now. Twenty pounds. <laughs> you know what? I have never cooked a brisket over fifteen pounds. Hi, Alicia. How you doing? I hope you're safe. And actually, I hope all you guys are safe. Right, right now is a crazy time because you never know what's going on, and. Um, it's crazy. It really is a crazy time. I have to work every day. You know, I, I work for an essential. So, I mean, you know, I have to be at work every single day, you know, and, and those when I hear that they're not supposed to be out and about and they're still getting sick, I, I really just, you know, prayers to them. So, I mean, I wish I wish you guys all of health. And, and that's just something that I'm always going to, you know, continue on because you guys are like family. And uh, I, I just hope you guys don't come across this nonsense. And it, it, it's it's scary. Hey, uh, Mike, it was pretty good. Uh, I got it resting right now. I wasn't going to put it on my... Uh... Can you believe a California boy used paper? <laughs> Actually used paper. But uh, it's resting. Oh, I'm going to give it about an hour. Um, I'm probably going to start cooking it or not cooking it. I'm probably going to start uh, cutting it pretty soon. But it, it was a long cook. I started at like four in the morning. Trevor, how's it going, brother? You know, even, you know, it's even sad, though. You know, usually like, um, you know, you'd bring in like cops and like military and all that. But you know what? You, you really got to... Uh, Put an eye out on those people that are like serving you food, you know, and, uh, you know, ringing you up for your groceries because you know what they're they're dealing with probably several hundred people out a, a day just, you know, doing their job. Even if it's like a six or eight hour shift, you know, they're, they're probably coming across a lot of people and they're putting themselves in harm's way, you know, and all this crazy stuff. So, you know, you got to give a shout out to all, all those people because you know what? The other day I was at the the register uh, buying up uh, the chicken for um, that last video that I did yesterday, you know, and um, I I started getting anxiety because people don't pay attention. People don't, they, they you know, just some people don't care, you know what I mean? Like, you know, even though rules are in set, like people just don't pay attention and don't care for, you know, other people's like health, you know? And, um, you know, I could just imagine if I felt uncomfortable 11 minutes in line, I could just imagine how a person is stuck at a cash register for eight hours, how they felt, you know? So it, it's rough. It's rough. And, and my hats, my, a salute to all of them. You know what I mean? Because that's, 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 that's tough. You know what I mean? And especially some of these places, they're only paying them like, you know, minimum wage. And that, that's just ridiculous in this time because, you know, 
it, it's, it's life and death. That, that's crazy. You know, that's crazy. Especially some of these uh, cashiers that I've seen, you know, they're in their 50s. That's not safe, you know. DJ Valley Boy, what's good, man? Hey, welcome. Welcome to the live, uh, live stream. This is just like a pop-up live stream. Let me see. It just died, man. That's unfortunate, man. Subway worker died because a passenger mad and spit on her. That's really sad. That's unfortunate, man. There's just some unfortunate, you know, there's just some people who just, yeah. That sucks, dude. Yeah, I'm just catching up with comments. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> DJ, uh, DJ Valley Boy, hey, are you from the Imperial Valley? Just by FY? I'm a Valley Boy, so, you know. Yeah, uh, Kip. Yeah, when you told me San Diego, bro, hey, uh, we go to San Diego all the time. San Diego is, is San Diego is more like the coaster, like the coastal part, right? And then you come down and then you got Imperial Valley. I wish I had a damn stand. Here, yeah, you guys are gonna walk through my whole house. <laughs> Welcome to Kirby's lab. Mi casa su casa. Okay. Okay, I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually south of you guys. Pomona's not too far. Oh, I'm staying safe. Um, I got sanitizer. I got face mask. I got all that good stuff. Where is my selfie stick? <laughs> you know, when you don't use stuff, it's a little, weird, little odd, you know what I mean? When you're trying to look for it. Where's that, baby? Have you seen it? It's in your, um, it's in your backpack where you're a little... Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, the YouTube. The YouTube bag. The YouTube bag. <laughs> I haven't touched that stuff in a minute. Here, let me go back to better lighting. Ostago, hey, how's it going? Australia, huh? How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Alicia, how you doing? What's up, Mike? Nah, you know what, uh, Mike, I finally got it off of the grill, dude, after 15 and a half hours. It was tough, dude. Ah, oh, here you are. Selfie stick. All right. It might be a little wiggly and wobbly, but I'm um, sorry, guys. Here, let me see. Is this a selfie? Oh, yeah, it is a selfie stick. Uh, Mike, honestly, I wrapped as soon as it hit 163 degrees. There we go. A little bit better. That's, that's better. Let me see. Can I extend this? Uh, I wrapped probably about five o'clock. Uh, it was stuck. I mean, this is a huge brisket. Here, let me show you guys. This thing was huge. I mean, it shrunk down a lot. Uh, hey, you know what, Mike? Uh, Josh, I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah, Josh. Here, I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. Can you believe I can't use a damn selfie stick? <laughs> My daughter's looking at me like, dude, you're a noob. <laughs> uh, Josh, hey, we need a, we need another sun cow meat, man. You are note resting. What is that note resting? What, what do you mean by that, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, if you're smoking, that's not a good thing. A cook off, huh? Oh, you know what? The stall is tough, man. Um, the stall probably was... 
let me see. I noticed that the brisket hit 149 degrees, okay? It was stuck between 149 degrees to 154 for three hours and 15 minutes. I mean, this was a big brisket. This was a 21 pound brisket. It was 21.39 pound brisket. Like I was saying earlier, um, we've been out of brisket for quite some time. I was hoping to get like a 15, 14 pound brisket, but for some reason they decided to throw out the big ones. And so when I actually went to the store and I actually seen that they had brisket, um, one was 20, the one that I picked up and the other one was a 16 pounder, but that one, the, the bag was punctured. What's up CJ? How's it going, bro? Uh, the bag was punctured. It was all oxidized. You could tell there's, it, it, it's just not a good deal. So I was just like, all right, that one's another question. And so I ended up picking a 21 pounder, but you know what? I have to say I'm impressed with the cook though. You know, that, that new grill that I got is really rocking. Hey CJ, when are we going to do the hot seat, dude? I've been waiting for that. <laughs> if you guys don't know, and you guys don't know CJ, Cooking with CJ, he does a, a YouTube channel hot seat uh, thing every Thursday. It's pretty awesome. Uh, they, they, uh, it's pretty entertaining. Last week's was pretty, pretty nice. Are we going to do it live or like me and you in the same room or do I have to go sit at my computer like I do everything else? Hey, Northwest Open uh, Season. Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, man? It's been a minute since uh, I'll be catching you. Let me see. What'd you say? Oh, I haven't named it yet. That My grill, I'm not going to name it until, you know, I get everything settled and everything. And then I'm going to do a live stream. This is what I plan. I'm thinking of I'm thinking about naming her a female, <laughs> but uh, actually some of the, some people actually said uh, some pretty good, pretty cool uh, names like El Jefe, like that was that was that one caught me and I was like you know that was pretty cool, um, but I, I want you guys to actually name it, so uh, I'm gonna do a live stream and uh, we're gonna go from there. Social distance. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got you, man. Hey, just just let me know, CJ, and uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna do a live stream, and then we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna get suggestions from all of you guys, and then we're gonna name my new smoker. Um, I got all kinds of crazy names. It's crazy. Let me see. I got uh, Delena and and Wally. Hey, hello. How's everything? Joe Martinez. Good afternoon, Fresno, California. I'm about two and a half hours away from you. Welcome to the live stream. Just, uh, you know, wow, this is a lot of people. <laughs> Trying to keep up on comments here. Sorry, guys. Actually, me pulling out the brisket, I, I sent TJ actually a photo. Actually, the, the fat, the, the grease from the, the package, it actually ended up all over my foot. So I got, <laughs> I got one foot that's red. Oh. Okay. Alexa, off. Yeah, so timer's done. So, let me see, how long have we been on? Wow, it's been that long, huh? Carbonator. <laughs> the carbonator. So, yeah. Um, looks like I got to trim a brisket pretty soon. Um, I put a lot of work into this thing. It's going to be, you know what? I know there's like people following me for certain things and stuff like that, but you know, this is, if you're really into barbecue, this is an awesome, this is going to be an awesome video. I put a lot of information to it. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of practicing. I probably spent more money on brisket in the past three months than I have anything else. Okay. Um, I finally got it down to a T. Unfortunately, it was a big one that I had to like put into but this video right here has got a lot of information and you know and then especially using a new grill my first two cooks was on the Weber kettle I was trying to do a small cook you know and uh, third cook was on my offset smoker which I traditionally you know did brisket on so 
and then to just go out left field and just say, hey, I'm going to just put it on my pellet grill. So, yeah, it was a chance out there, you know, so, but it, it, it worked out pretty good, you know, just experience cooking a brisket and just, you know, seeing what it does. I mean, unfortunately, it was a big brisket and, you know, uh, but it, we got it done. So it's in the, it's in the, the cooler. I'm letting it go and we're going to start trimming it up pretty, pretty much right now. So, you guys want to see that live with me <laughs> while I record? Let me know what you think. And we need some rags underneath this. Uh, my my kitchen's dirty right now. Excuse it. <laughs> yeah, you need to get uh, Mike on the hot seat. Hey, Mike, you actually need to get your butt over here. You and AB. So that way we can... Uh, and grill up something. You guys, I see you guys be having fun over there. I ain't silly with it. All right, just laying down some uh, some rags so that way I can get my cutting board to stick to the uh, little thing. All right, we're good there. Just here, just checking stuff. I would have to have somebody, <laughs> that's the hard part. I would have to have somebody uh, hold it. Who feels like holding it? I got my daughter here saying that she's gonna hold some. You wanna hold it, babe? Hold what? Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, Northwest, uh, Northwest Open Season, it, it's, it's been going crazy, man. I got some videos that are just doing their thing. But uh, like I've always told everybody, you know, just keep doing your thing, man. Keep putting out content and just, uh, you live too far. <laughs> Dude, I, I've already gone twice to AB's house. You can come to my house for once. Just once. Both of you guys. Yeah, uh, North, uh, Northwest. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, just keep doing your thing, man. You know, just, just keep rocking it. What's up, Lep? How's it going? All right, so let's pull out this brisket. Who wants to hold it? You hold it. <laughs> All right, let's see. How do I flip? Oh, right here. <laughs> Jerk chicken and turkey legs. Dude, that's twice that I've seen you guys, you eat uh, poultry. All right, so let's go this way. All right, baby. How about you just hold it right there? You good? Yeah. All right, let me know if somebody asked a question. You're going to see a little bunch of comments. I've got my daughter rocking it, okay? So just FYI. Bev, how about you pull up the stream so that way just in case somebody has a question. Here, show them the camera. All right, so this is what we're rocking with, folks. Camera positioning is always something. Okay. And focusing is always another issue. They're complimenting your cutting board. I needed something big. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so if you have any questions, hold off until I get back in front of the camera. Let me see. I'm trying to touch the thing just in case. See if you guys. Okay, there we are. All right, baby, you're going a little too far. There we go. Right there. All right. All right, so we're recording there. We got microphones all set. Here, baby, let me see. And you can't have a traditional cooking with curvy video without uh, my apron. Hey, actually, 
actually cooking brisket is pretty tough. If you bring it up to my face, yeah, cooking brisket is actually <laughs> a, a, a one this size is, is pretty big. It, it, it's pretty tough actually. So, no, they're actually bagels with uh, cheese and jalapenos. One of them, anyways. Here, let's go ahead. And... Oh, wifey's wifey's actually coming. No, it's too dark. Let's go ahead and put this back. There's a lot of work. Look, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what I have to deal with every single video. Kitchen lighting is like a monster. Backdoor light, outdoor lighting is a whole different thing. Uh, I'm always messing with this thing. Because I, in my earlier videos, I had such a hard time, like, you know, throughout the video, would like the focus would just like go in and out, in and out. Especially if you're like outside smoking something, forget it, and be bouncing around like crazy. Um, so I shoot mo mostly in in manual focus now, and uh, so I'm always messing with this thing. Like every single shot, like I'm messing with it right before. So that. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background other than cooking because honestly, some of the stuff that I cook, I can have it done in like 15 minutes, like quick, sometimes like six minutes. It just, you know, just depending on what I'm cooking. <laughs> but because of this thing, it takes 30 plus minutes every time. My wife always gets on me and be like, yeah. But you know what, this brisket, here I should probably just I got one glove on me. That's all you need. I left my insulated ones outside. Oh, that stuff's nice. Whoa, so much juices. I think I am going to get my other gloves. Yeah, there's so much juices coming out of this thing. Here, I'll let's, I put it over there. Just go grab one real quick. Yeah. yeah. Be right back, folks. gloves and let's do this and I don't actually have true barbecue gloves you know what I use to, to grab the meat off of the grill these are just outdoor um, gardening gloves they're they got the rubber on the bottom and it's and it's uh, penetrated you know or what is it Ferment, not fermented. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not fermented. <laughs> not fermented. Alright. So we'll put this to the side. Yeah, this thing is leaking. Here, you know what? Let me just open it up. I'll just take the brisket out because there's tons of juices coming out of this thing. Fat baby. <laughs> they want to say the inside. Hold that right there because this thing is super juicy. Oh, it's burning. Woo! All right. You just had a 21 pounder. Congratulations. <laughs> You're glad that that thing didn't come out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me put these over here. Actually, you know, this actually feels kind of good. I spent all day on this thing. I woke up at 4 30 in the morning. Before I start, Jasmine, chill. 
So I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, started this about, by the time I got everything set up, it was about 5.30. And uh, something that was this huge, this is what we got. Bring it up, baby. This is, <laughs> this is like about 12 inches. When I put this thing on the grill, it was literally the size of this cutting board. It was like, yeah, here, where's that thing at? Looks juicy though. Yeah, it looks juicy. Here, this brisket overlapped this tray before I cut it. It was sticking out about right here. The back end of it, the, the flat was about right here. And it was sticking in about right here. So compare that size to this. Yeah, this, this <laughs> wow, just a huge difference. So, all right, let's go ahead and fix our camera here so that way we can see. This said nice bark. What's that? Nice bark on it. Thank you, thank you. Actually, the bark, I mean, I did it on a pellet grill. Um, I got more bark off of an offset, offset smoker. Um, it, 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 we do have spots right here that are pretty decent. Um, but the top though, uh, you, I mean, I did use a pellet grill and I was, uh, fat side up, but I mean, yeah, this looks really good. Go ahead and bring this over. Okay, so my grains are running this way. Since I don't have a whole crazy bark right here, like my last couple bristles that I've done, uh, I can actually see the, the grains going this way. Uh, but this, this bottom part right here is super, super soft. All right here in the point and everything is really, really soft. Here, I should probably fix this. One sec, folks. You know what we're missing, right? My photos, my, uh, not my photos, my, uh, lamps. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bella, you want to bring my, my, Lights. my lamps? Lights. My lights. You like the behind the scenes. Yeah, this is pretty much what that is. I mean, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm already getting breakage right here. So this, this thing is... AB's been asking for me to actually show that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I finally knocked it out. But I'm, I'm actually surprised. I never cooked a huge brisket like this. Am I re you know, recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I am recording. But uh, I've never cooked a brisket this huge. This is like really insane on Mike Montoya just sent $29.99. Hey, Mike, thank you, dude. Hey, but you really don't have to do that, man. Look, I appreciate every single one of you guys. You, you really don't have to do that, man. But I do appreciate it, Mike. Uh, thank you. And um, what are we buying with that $29.99? What, what kind of cook you want? No, you let kidding. me know. <laughs> with, with that $29.99, let me know what you want me to cook, bro. I got you. Here, let me help her. All I gotta do is plug it in, Sim. You got this part? You think you got it? Me? Yeah, you. You said you're my equipment manager, right? Yeah. Well, then get to it, equipment manager. <laughs> there we go. So, look, we're getting better light right there. Okay. Watch out, baby. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> this is what goes on when I need to cook. That's getting your slicing fat down. No, I'm actually going to be, well, I mean, I cooked it fat side up, so I'm going to be slicing all right 
So let's see how that looks. All right, that looks a lot better. Here, I'll just uh, cancel this one and start a new one. All right, so this brisket probably cooked for another three and a half hours after my my last video. Not last video. Uh, this is what I deal with every single day. I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so this brisket actually cooked for three and a half hours after the nine hour mark. This was such a huge brisket. Uh, I was even tempted on increasing the temperature of it. So it finally hit over 200 degrees internally. I went ahead and put it in a cooler. I was gonna leave it on a cutting board, but for how long it was taking, I decided to go ahead and put it in a cooler. So, our grains are running this way. The flat is nice and soft. I mean, I could probably pull this apart like, like nothing. So, we'll go ahead and give it a first cut. Now this right here, I'm kind of curious to like get into. It is just like nothing. Just like nothing. Right, I need to fix this right here. Well, I mean, hey baby, you've been saying you want brisket. Want to give it a try? I mean, just just the flavor. Look, this this whole cook right here. I mean, besides all this nonsense. This whole cook right here is just a tribute to Texas style barbecue. I studied Texas style barbecue. I mean, look at this smoke ring. I mean, I'm gonna show it right here on the thing. Come close, baby. I got that smoke ring off of Pellegro. But just knowing the process, I mean, look at this. I mean, this. This tastes really good. Look, this this cook right here is inspired by Texas style barbecue. A shout out to all those YouTubers that do YouTube, you know, Texas style, and nothing but barbecue, because this is what I'm inspired to. In 2007, I was watching something on Food Network, and uh, it was talking about you know, championship, you know, competition cooks and stuff like that. I don't keep up with com competition cooks and stuff, but just the fact that this guy was talking about, you know, putting, you know, ribs and brisket on and stuff like that, and I probably watched probably maybe about six episodes of this. This was in 2007. And when... Go oh, there, baby. Uh, when I actually started getting on the grill, my, you know, I was just like trying to make it like that. It was nothing close. This right here is definitely a hundred times better than my first brisket. Um, you'll see in my next video, pretty much what I told you what I did to my, my first brisket. It was horrible. <laughs> I basically separated the flat with the point. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't even work at a beef processing uh, plant at that time. So... All right, so back to the video. Let's go back to trimming. So, we got a nice, nice smoke ring on this thing, as you can see. This is a pretty good smoke ring. And this came off of Pellegro, just an FYI. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to cut like about a pencil thick. And when you cut, you don't want to, you know, saw in. Kind of want to keep it together too. Just lightly saw. My bark's coming off. <laughs> yeah, this is coming off. I need to get a new knife. Really, this knife sucks. Well, that bark is like nuts. I mean, it's just falling apart. This is nice. 
Pull the card flat right there. I think I overcooked it a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't say no to this. I mean, this is pretty some good stuff. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, this is pretty pulled apart. I mean, this, this stuff is just, uh, I probably did live, overcook it just a tad bit. I did get the flat to about 203 degrees. I ain't gonna lie on it. I'm not gonna hide nothing. I mean, this is, this is a, seriously like, just super tender flat. And compared to some of my other cooks with the flat on my other my other grills, um, the flat would be a little bit tough, but this would be like super, just like super, just overdone. But I mean, this one's just like right on. I'm like, there's like no resistance to, you know, separating this flat. They want you to slice the point. No. Uh, let's see. You know, it's funny. Some people focus on the point. <laughs> That's the smoke ring right there. Funny people actually um, focus on the point. I actually probably need a little bit more. But for tw a 21 pound brisket, wow, <laughs> it's just falling apart. They're saying sandwiches? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make, um, wow, this thing just like ripped apart. Look. Just ripped apart. Like, seriously, like this, this thing was such a long cook. Like, it, it's not even surprising me. I'm pretty sure there was a huge seam of fat. So I rendered off a lot of fat. I mean, this was a 21 pound brisket. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Look. That's the point right there. This is just coming off like pulled pork. I mean, I did overcook it. I see that. But uh, that's how that brisket is coming out. But, wow. I mean, I, I just can't believe I cooked that big of a brisket. Wanna give it a shot, babe? Yeah. And then this other side, I mean, this one, I, I left a little bit of that fat on this side, which you can actually see. Which you'll actually see in my... Um, Trimming video, this is the fat that I left kind of like right there. This right here. I mean, ain't nobody eating that. That's just nothing but fat. But as you can see, I mean, you got your flat right here. and Or that's actually... I don't My know. dad probably fried and eat it. <laughs> that what? My dad probably fried and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this is this is the flat and this is the point. But yeah, this is this is definitely this right here. I want to try this. <laughs> Some good stuff. I probably can't trim brisket for for crap, but um, this right here is some tasty stuff. A little bit of Texas inspired brisket with the uh, California stuff. But, uh, that right there is overcooked, unfortunately. I mean, you yeah, guys see how it just shreds apart? Looks like we're making shredded beef tacos. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. 
I mean, this point didn't like last. I mean, I guess you could say part of it is the type of brisket that I got. It was a Walmart brisket. So like, you had really lean meat, like, okay. Like even though this, this part right here is a flat, Even, even some parts of this flat is like just straight. Yeah, like some it feels tough, but like it's like easy to pull apart. Now compared to this right here, this is like just pulled apart like nothing. So I guess it's just a learning experience. This was a, this was a real lean part. This was what I was focusing on. You know the flat. But uh, it's my first big, big brisket. <laughs> hey, want to know what was the internal temp of the point when you pulled it? The point was 211, unfortunately. But the flat was uh, 202. Yeah, the flat was 202. I mean, I'm, it's still delicious, though. Little overdone. I kind of seen that when I when I pulled it, you know, because just just by the feel of the brisket of how it was playing compared to my last my last couple ones. Um, but it's a learning experience, you know. But uh, I mean, I've never tackled a, a brisket this size. I mean, this was here. This is how much trimmings I have to deal with. <laughs> that came out of that brisket. And when I put this brisket on, or you know, this brisket was big enough. So this is a mixture of some fat. I didn't keep all of the fat. This is uh, some of the trimmings along with uh, some of the fat just to mix up to make a uh, hamburger meat. But uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be good eats later. Smash burgers, you let me know what you want uh, done and I'll check out the, the replay of everything and uh Lep said burgers for days. Burgers for days, yeah. Here Jazzy, you wanna try some brisket? Yeah. Yummy. This one right here loves to eat brisket. Here, you've been telling me all the Jasmine, day, turn around, say hi. Uh. <laughs> here baby, let me get you let me get you uh let's see, what's the good part? Oh, Give her some other shredder. Here we get some of this up. This one is the only one out of the whole house that actually said, ooh, brisket. <laughs> Everybody else was like, brisket again? <laughs> yeah, I definitely overcooked this one. Um, it's unfortunate, but uh, came out pretty good. You got lunch for the week. Uh, I got a lot of lunch. For... Well, actually, I'm going to make a video on this. Uh, mac and cheese brisket. It tastes good, Daddy. It's good? Daddy knows how to season it pretty good, baby. That wants one now. How about try it? Here. Here, maybe we should <laughs> record that part. You guys want to see some overcooked brisket? Her face. <laughs> <laughs> She's stoked. <laughs> yeah, overcooked brisket. <laughs> Who's stoked? Bella. Here, baby. Try it. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't stay together at all. And I used uh, butcher paper, by the way. But uh, yeah, it just uh, it's just real. I mean, you, I mean, look at this. It just falls apart. Actually, this is gonna make some pretty good tacos. If there's any left, <laughs> keep eating. All right, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> This was supposed to be my dinner. It's my dinner. <laughs> Blackstone drunk like, nachos. Like uh, pulled pork and just shred it. Alicia <laughs> says the girls look like you. Now what? Alicia says the girls look like you. 
Yeah, my little loved ones. There, you guys want to see how brisket gets just shredded? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's a little tough, little right here. See, this is probably where it needed to be sliced. Yeah, see, right there, it needed to be sliced. But this rest of this stuff, I can pull it like full pork. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's going to make some good eats. Actually, this one has a little bit of that fat there that we need to get rid of. Look at this one. Like nothing. <laughs> Only a California boy is going to destroy brisket. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it was going pretty good before I um, let, it, let it overcook. But anyway. Alright, let me have the thing back. They're asking if you can post this video so they can rewatch. Uh, well, I got it recorded. I'll post it. Finally, I mean, I overcooked it. But I mean, like I said, I've never cooked a brisket that huge before, so it was already intimidating from the get. But yeah, I got that smoke ring off of Pellegro. But yeah. I was more worried about it being undercooked. And I ended up overcooked. It is what it is. Alright, let me have the camera or the phone. <laughs> so how bad did I do? Let me know now that I can see the comments. <laughs> hey Mona, how's everything? Yeah, I can watch. Yeah, I'll post the uh, video, Nick. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think probably here. Watch, check this out. The last here. Here's the thing. The probably last four hours of the cook, I've been at it for, yeah, like like 5.30 in the morning, about, I'd say. Check this out. The last probably four hours of the cook, I was kind of like occupied doing all kinds of other things. So like, it, it got me away from the, the grill and I was out, you know, out and about like messing with stuff around the thing. As long as the family, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm gonna get ripped up on YouTube. I already feel it. <laughs> hey, YouTube's brutal, man. People that, that comment on stuff, I mean, be like, it's overcooked. You put garlic powder. I could just imagine what the comments are gonna be, but it is what it is. Um, you know, uh, the last four hours, probably, uh, you know, my distraction and like other stuff, I think that's probably where I went off. I should have pulled it a little bit earlier and let it rest. Um, I let it go a little too long. Like I said, the, the, the point was about 211, which the point is fine to get a little overcooked, but uh, I let the flat go a little bit higher than I should have. It was a 203, I believe. You got sandwiches, tacos, etc. <laughs> yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Shredder beef. That's that's basically what this is with the smoke ring. Here. I'm still impressed on how this thing has that thick of a smoke ring. This is this is a offset smoker smoke ring, dude. I'm really I'm really impressed on the smoke ring that I got on this. I mean look how here, this is the tip of my finger. See how much is, is still beyond that? I mean, here, the tip of my finger. That's gotta be at least an inch, inch, uh, well, no, probably like three quarter of an inch smoke ring. This came off of Pelligro. So if anybody says that a Pelligro, and, and I don't have celery seed uh, powder in here, that that's 
straight off of a uh, pellet grill. Chopped brisket with some barbecue sauce. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, I'm definitely gonna do something with it. This um, this beef right here is gonna end up on maybe a Blackstone with a grilled cheese uh, sandwich. And uh, what else? I do have mac and cheese uh, planned for it. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Uh, mac and cheese, brisket mac and cheese, that's one right there. And uh, I have small hands. Calm down, Ken, I'm not a eight, eight foot uh, behemoth like you, okay? <laughs> Love you, bro. But uh, yeah. But yeah, we got some shredded, ooh, shredded beef tacos. Taquitos. Tacos. Which one? Blackstone Street Tacos. Blackstone Street Tacos. Not with shredded beef, though. Yeah. With shredded beef? Mm -hmm. At what taquero do you see serving the shredded beef, baby? Huh? Huh? There's all carne asada and uh, pollo asado. Al pastor. Okay, me and my wife are gonna have a fight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this this is what my my night ended to. I, I spent all day working on this thing, and it's just uh, it still looks good though. It ain't the it ain't what I was looking for. Definitely not what I was looking for, you know, to end up with. But uh, some pretty damn good eats though. I mean, this is all smoke room right here. I mean, obviously that's like the side of it. But uh, now it's starting to get all cold. Yeah, but we're, yeah, look at this. Shredded beef tacos right here, guys. <laughs> Just shredded beef tacos. I mean, that's how, I mean, I can't keep it structured to, to be able to get a slice off of it. I mean, look. I got that smoke ring off of a pellet grill. <laughs> so if everybody says that a pellet grill is no good, they're tripping. You can get one off of it. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to get some nice pretty slices. But uh, yeah, that's not, not possible. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Pretty disappointed. Not as far as the cook, just as far as like this whole brisket. And it's already oxidizing. I should probably get this covered up. But I'm it, it's it's cooked. Okay, let me clean up my hand so I can touch the screen. Brisket and bananas, yeah, definitely. Brisket, hey, hey, what's up, Pete? How's it going, buddy? Scott, how's it going? So, yeah, you know what? I, I think I might pull off some, a uh, couple cooks out of this little video. Well this cook right here. So we got shredded beef tacos for sure. Yeah, you know, it's got a nice smoky flavor to it. I'm just, I'm just disappointed that I wasn't able to trim it like I wanted to. I think a lot of it has to probably do with just how big it was and I'm just unexperienced. And I'm, I'm letting you guys know right now, unexperienced on cooking a big brisket like that. My last three br briskets before this were about 12 to 13 pounds. So, I mean, I could have those done in like, probably like seven, eight hours, you know what I mean? Hey, Gil, how's it going, brother? Make salsa too? No, nah, I haven't made salsa yet. I've been stuck in front of a grill all day. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm looking at, Bethany and Josh. Uh, Definitely could be uh, 
brisket twice baked uh, potato. That sounds actually pretty damn good. Brisket uh, fries and cheese. Maybe, uh, well, I do have planned uh, brisket mac and cheese. That That's that's a for sure right there. So, uh, yeah. It is what it is. Uh, I guess now I got a little bit of experience under my belt with the 16 plus pounder. <laughs> I haven't cooked anything. I mean, when it comes to brisket, I haven't cooked anything higher than 16 pounds. So, yeah, this is just like a... Yeah, I mean, it's just like super like just tear apart, you know? Like I was focusing on the flat. I think that's probably what my problem was. I was, I was focusing on the flat to make sure that that was tender, but I totally, for, you know, just disregarded the point. And I think that's probably something I should have looked at. I should have probably held back just a tad bit and probably let it rest and just let it come to temp. And that way it kind of like cook the, uh, the flat. I think that's what I should have did, but it is what it is. We live and learn. So, well, now you guys see it. Let me see. Don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> nah, you know what? Mental notes, man. Look, when it comes to this type of stuff, I take notes. You know, like all day I was just, you know, writing down things and, you know, um, you know, things that I, that I need to like fix on it or whatever. Let me see. Oh, I'm not down. I'm not down. I, I'm gonna get ate up on the <laughs> on the video though. I do expect that though. If I post this video, I'm gonna get ate up by people on uh, uh, YouTube. It's unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's that's my experience with the 21 pounder. It defeated me. <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, I'm gonna get off of this right here. I'm going to get back to what I was doing right now. I just want to say thank you to everybody. And Mike, thank you. Dude, don't... No super chats in the future, brother. I appreciate it, though, man. Thank you. But uh, let me know... Here, send me a message and let me know what you want me to cook with that $29. So, I'm going to get off of this. I just want to thank everybody that was in here. And uh, we'll see what we're going to cook next. <laughs> I got a lot of brisket right here. I got, like several probably like 15 something pounds it's gonna be some good stuff so cheers y'all y'all be beautiful take care